Okay, so now we want to see how to download and install Visual Studio. So the first thing we want to do is launch a browser, then search for download Visual Studio 2015. And the first hit we get here is the one we want. It's uh, from Microsoft. So click on this and then make sure here at the top the URL is www.visualstudio.com. This is the one you want. And we're going to use the community free edition, the first one on the left. So I'm going to click to download the installer here. All right, so it started in, and now I can click on this to launch it. Now at this point, I can close the browser. I don't need it anymore. So now as the installer is getting ready to start, we we'll just wait a little bit. All right, so now it's launching. All right, so... By default here it's saying it's going to need up to 7 gigabytes and I'm not going to use the default I'm going to use the custom so I can pick and choose what I want to install. So now hit next and from this one here I'm going to expand the programming languages. I definitely want Visual C++. I personally would like to add more stuff here because I use Visual Studio as my main development tool. So I'll pick Python I want that. Windows and web development. I want to use the SQL, click once, PowerShell stuff. Universal Windows app is going to need. Uh, I'll click that as well and then scroll down. Common tools, cross platform. All that stuff you don't have to actually choose. It's completely up to you what, what you want, what you need and make sure that as you click and select all these things to check on the amount of space required in this case it's going to take up to 36 gigabyte for me to install everything but that's fine with me like i said i use visual studio a lot so i'm going to just keep it as this and then now i'm going to hit next to start the installation process it, on this page it's just showing you what will be installed and that's fine i'm gonna say install and this is just a prompt to elevated privileges because it wants elevated privileges here which is fine click yes and then let it go so i think this will take a while probably gonna take me i don't know half an hour to an hour could be more so i'm just gonna pause the video till this thing is done and then continue afterwards Okay, so setup is now complete and it's asking me to reboot the machine. So I guess at this point I'm done with the installation process. I'm going to reboot and then we can next look at how we can launch and configure Visual Studio for the first time use. Okay, so depending on your version of Windows, you should be able to find or search for Visual Studio. So I'm using Windows 8 here. I just uh, search for Visual Studio and I get two heads here. So the first one is the Visual Studio 2015. I'm going to launch it. And I'm just going to pin this to my taskbar for future reviews. All right, so it's asking me to sign in now. You can sign in with an account, but that's useful usually for you know using windows azure stuff or if you want to put your code on on git repository etc then this is useful to use right now i'm not gonna sign in so i'm just gonna say not now maybe later right and this is uh, where you get to choose and pick your preferences if you skip this for now you don't do it here if you don't change it want to change it in the future you can still do that but this is the best time to actually set up your preferences. For the most part, I'm going to say Visual C++ is my development settings. And then I'm going to... There are three different color themes. My favorite is the dark theme. The default one is the blue. Most people use that. But me personally, after using Visual Studio for over many years, over 20 years or so, with the editors and IDEs, I feel that dark color theme with the dark black background is easier on my eyes, and that's why I typically use this option. So I'm going to hit Start Visual Studio now, and it's going to prepare it for the first time use for me.
Okay, so it's done preparation. And this is how it looks like with the theme that I set as default. If you don't like the dark theme and you want to change it back again in the future, you go to Tools, Menu, Options. And I think here at the first page, General, this is where you get to change that again. As you can see, it's the same color theme, blue, dark, and light. So you can at any time, if you decided you don't want this, you can come here and change it. I'm not going to change it, but like I said, I like this, so this is good for me. And yeah, this is pretty much it. We're done with the setup and installation for Visual Studio. Now I can close it. And then if I decided to launch it again, I have the icon here pinned to my taskbar. So I can launch it again if I want to at any time. We should be ready to use Visual Studio in future videos to see how we can make use of it. Right, that's it for now.